Well, boys, they going for it. They going full potato out there. That's right. Who's burning everything down out there? It's not Antifa. No, man, Antifa doesn't exist. Antifa's not a real thing. That's a who white supremacist boogeyman out there. Okay, so it's not Antifa. Is it black people burning shit down? No, you racist. How dare you out there? Black people would never burn anything down out there. Huh. Well, then, who's burning all these places down out there? Well, it's white supremacists. <laughs> it's white supremacists. And not only that, but you've got some police chiefs out there, some Democrat run diversity <laughs> hire. Excuse me, Corona, Corona Chan flew out there. Um, you got a bunch of these these police chiefs in Democrat run places out there telling everybody, we're also gonna let them burn your shit down, by the way. We're gonna let them ransack your businesses, we're gonna let them loot your businesses, we're gonna let them burn down your houses out there. We're not gonna stop any of these KKK members, these Nazis and who white supremacists. Hold on a second, I'm fucking confusion. I got, I got a lot of questions out there. The fuck we paying you for that? Why, why are we paying you if you're going to openly let Nazis burn shit down? This doesn't make any sense. Take a look at this where we are at the Gateway Pundit. Watch them try to explain this. You're on your own. Raleigh Police Chief says she will not put officers in harm's way to protect property. Raleigh Police Chief Cassandra Deck Brown coincidentally... Raleigh's first woman police chief and also first empowered woman of color police chief. I'm sure that has nothing to do with the current situation. Anyway, she held a press conference on Sunday morning after the mass violence and looting by leftist protesters overnight. Deck Brown called the mass destruction, quote, disgusting and unacceptable. Oh, okay, it's disgusting and it's unacceptable and it's being carried out by who white supremacists. So I'm sure you're going to put your foot down, right? You're going to unleash the batons and pepper gas out there. You're going to make sure that you bring law and order back to your Raleigh, North Carolina, right? Because, I mean, fucking hell. I mean, imagine that's what people are paying you for. Um, no. Wait, no. No, shit, no. She's going to lecture everybody on who white systemic racism. Take a look at this. Racism. There were several incidents, including an incident that happened in the park uh, in New York. That was nothing but systemic racism. So when we look in the mirror and we talk about racism, it's not just the law enforcement side of it. It's it's embodied in the greater community, and we all have to own that as well. Chief Cassandra Deck Brown then lectured on who white supremacy in front of the looted buildings and said that she would not put officers in harm's way to protect property. And so, of course, this is too stupid to be stupid out there. I don't need a lecture on who white supremacy. The audio on that's really low, but she's like, um, uh, we just had like an instance of like some woman in the park and some black dude watching birds. And she was like, I'm going to call the police on you. And the, look, police, there's a black person threatening me. The black dude did threaten her. I <laughs> said the black dude totally admitted to threaten her. But this lady is somehow saying, well, because this woman called the police on a black dude and said he was black on the, on the uh, 911 call out there it's totally fine that who white supremacists burned down raleigh this is too stupid to be stupid of course what's going on in this situation is that these democrats who've been placed in these positions of power out there through affirmative action slots or diversity hire lotteries wherever the fuck the case is i am absolutely convinced that this chief of police out there has never walked a beat this person's got no experience on the streets out there nobody respects uh, police Chief Cassandra Deck Brown, I'm imagining at this place. No, no. Um, what's going on in this situation is very clear. Democrats are calling in and saying, let that place burn. You better let that place burn, which is why we're calling in the military. Good job, assholes. Uh, you're so afraid of Orange Man Bad being a dictator. You're so afraid of Orange Man Bad being a fascist out there. Well, Orange Man Bad has to call in the military at this point because you lefties, your, your lefty run Mayors, police chiefs, governors, at every level, they have abdicated their responsibilities for keeping law in order, for keeping people safe out there. No, no, no. They're just turning a blind eye to all of these mysterious piles and piles and pallets and pallets of bricks that are just mysteriously appearing out in front of all of these federal buildings and these downtown market squares and all of these places where bricks just happen to be. And then later on that night, riots just happen to also pop off in the same exact areas. Nope, this is all a plan by lefties out there to destabilize this country. It's to make Orange Man look bad. It's to tell everybody, look, 
We're gonna keep burning this place down. This country's gonna keep getting woo flu. You're gonna keep getting murder hornets out there and you're gonna keep getting race riots until you fucking assholes learn how to vote Democrat. Until you vote Democrat, you're gonna keep getting these 100 year pandemics, race riots that haven't been seen in 100 years. Now, <laughs> we see what you idiots are doing. We're going to continue pushing and putting pressure on you and make you guys slip up. The more and more you pull this shenanigan bullshit out there, the more and more you cause race riots or woo flu nonsense, the more conservative voters that you create. Look at how many people on Twitter all of a sudden are like, I take back everything I've ever said about the Second Amendment. No, no, no. No, I'm going to make my husband go get me a gun. I'm going to have my husband teach me how to buy, uh, uh, use a gun. You've got all of the background checks for gun ownership going through the roof. There are no bullets in this country anymore. Guns are flying off the shelf. So good job, you dumbass lefties out there. Every time you push any of these bullshit false flags or you try to stoke racial division up in this place, you're only going to create more conservative voters, so knock yourselves the fuck out. But to you people in Raleigh, North Carolina out there, I think you should be in the market for a new chief of police. Because here you have a woman telling you that she's going to let your cities burn. She's going to let who white supremacists apparently roam the street and loot and burn down your guys' building. Your black-owned businesses are going to be at risk with all of these who white supremacists running around apparently. And the police chief of Raleigh, North Carolina is like, well, I ain't stopping that. I, I, I am not going to risk my police's my police's life's out there to protect and to serve and to create law and order out there. No, no, no. We got other things to do, apparently. All right. All right. <laughs> there you have it. If you need any more reasons to not put lefties into control of anything out there, there you have it. Lefty police chief's telling you, you are on your own. Arm yourselves the fuck up. Especially if you are in a Democrat-run shithole. Arm your ass up. They are openly telling everybody, yeah, on your own. Until the 101st Airborne lands up in this place, until the 82nd Armored Division rolls up into this place, you are on your own if you're in a lefty run shithole out there. Stay safe. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. Support Jeff. If you want to be kept up to date on these lefties letting their cities burn out there, hit that subscribe button and make way, because the salt must flow.